Hi guys and welcome to Inner Bombshell. My name is Kareen and I'm Opal and today we are getting ready for our video shoot. But before we get started, I wanted to do a quick makeup tutorial and I wanted to share some of my favorites and some of my favorite look, the ultra glam look, which is so perfect for working out and just going about your day and doing all those fun things. So I'm going to show that look on Kareem. So I'm going to get started. I'm so excited. So you are all uh, cleansed and prepped and you have moisturizer on. Perfect. So the next thing we are going to do is we are just going to get started with a little primer. All right. Did you wash those hands? Uh, <laughs> this morning, sometime okay. this morning. Mm -hmm. Just want to so. be sure. They're, they're relatively clean. <laughs> okay. So with primer, less mm -hmm. is more. I learned that the hard way. Because Are you supposed to like? No. So, okay. Just kind of tap it in very light. Not sure why, but You're bad. we're just going to go over that. Yeah, definitely don't want to go too heavy because it can cake up. And then what will happen is when you start putting on foundation, it will roll up and okay. roll up very strangely. And I like to give it a minute to, to set. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't say that in the directions, but it's one of those things that's just trial and error. Do you um, put it over lips? I do not because okay. there is primer specifically made for lips. Okay. Um, which I use. I'm not going to use today because we're going for more of a natural glamazon. And I typically reserve that for more of like red lips or burgundy lips, something where you really need staying powder and okay. you don't want it to feather. Okay. So I always do concealer first. Um, a lot of people do it the opposite where they do foundation and then concealer, but it's always worked well for me and I feel like I can blend it easier. So why mess with a good thing, right? Of course. And I like to apply it with my fingers just because it helps to warm it up, but I will blend it with a brush because it's hard to get into those little creases. Everybody loves using brushes. And for some reason, I love using fingertips. Well, you know, it gets a little hard. <laughs> it's uh, a little hard to get in those little creases sometimes with nails like this, so that's probably why. Okay, so. And I always put it on the lid too. It helps as a little bit of a primer and I find that it helps the color stay on and it comes out a little vividly, more vividly. So again, probably <clears throat> real makeup artists are probably going to want to lynch me, but <laughs> this is just what we do because well, we're moms. Works. We don't have hours going anywhere. No. We don't go anywhere. So I usually put my makeup on in the car as I'm driving. Exactly. Just don't tell the cops I said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you see how beautifully we blended. And don't forget the corners, ladies. I learned that the hard way because in pictures, it, it doesn't lie. So definitely want to get in those corners. Beautiful. See how seamless that is? Right. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I promise you it's seamless. Okay. So now for the foundation. She used another word for this, didn't you? What were you? Did you say cover up? You said um, something. What did I use? That was like very my East base. Coast. Yes. My base. <laughs> like, what the hell is that? My base. My base. Foundation. That is, not, <laughs> is that not what makes artists? That's not a person? word. <laughs> that is like really. Back in the eighties, it was called base. Okay. <laughs> for the millennial generation. I'm You're not like, even what? sure if I'm in the millennial generation. <laughs> but from what I've been told, is that I have never heard that. I thought you were referring to the work on equipment because I, I didn't know what that is. But for the foundation, otherwise known as base. Otherwise known as base mm -hmm. in some circles. Yes, East Coast, Miami. So um, with long wear foundation, you kind of have to go section by section because it dries very quickly. And if it's a little bit more dewy, you could probably just put it on all over the face and then it'll still blend. 
So you're saying what I normally do of just putting it in my fingertips and rubbing it everywhere doesn't really work well? No, because it's okay. going to start to set and then you're going to start to see streaks. You hear our lovely kids in the background? Of course. I mean, seven kids. One of them is bound to come in here. I have to go in. We're going to have to cut the parts. <clears throat> So a chicken walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna edit this, right? <laughs> okay, I'm back. I also feel like a drip, right? Did my eye water? It did, actually. <clears throat> We're just gonna remember, always dab, never wipe dab. So you can salvage the makeup. So do you know we have freckles? <laughs> Or I have always had freckles. Okay. Yes. Are these man-made freckles? Yes. Or are they naturally <laughs> I actually just decided, you know, last night to start, you know, coloring them in. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, freckles are having a moment right now. Are they? Everyone is embracing the freckles. Mm. I sure did it when I was growing up. <laughs> Hated every moment of it. But I tell my daughters that they're beautiful. I think they're cute. Because all three of them have them. I feel like they look fresh, you know, fresh faced. Oh, yeah. Super youthful, <laughs> adorable. Thank you. My freckles are just long and silvery, and they look like stretch marks, but I swear they're freckles. <laughs> are they around your butt area, or where they're are these like freckles? my abdomen. Oh, okay. And that whole area. Ooh. Never forget the crease of the nose, ladies. Can you go down? Perfect. You see all that redness? We always get mm -hmm. redness there. It's really important. Yeah, imagine like in Miami, everybody's nice and tan, and here I am, this white girl with, you know, freckles everywhere. I noticed that the foundation, you choose a little bit on the darker side, mm -hmm. like if you were in between two shades, which yeah. is actually a great thing, especially for photos, or to be on film. Well, I always get a little bit of color during the summer, mm -hmm. so I always want my face not to stand out, like look too white in comparison to the body, because I cover up, because, you know, SPF is really important. Or pillows over your head when you're outside. <laughs> For worse. Exactly. All right. So now that we have the foundation, and it's blended pretty well, but I'm just going to do a little bit more right here. Beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to do powder. Mm -hmm. I tend to go heavy on the powder. I'm a little bit Marie Antoinette-ish. Okay. Because for oily girls or girls who have a shiny T-zone, which I think you are, right? Mm -hmm. So you're dry in some parts, but... For the most part, you battle the shine. I find that a little bit more liberal with the powder gives you that little stain powder, that little edge. Got it. And don't be afraid if you're going over the lip because... I was just going to ask. Don't be afraid because it actually helps to grab all the products that we end up using over. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay, great. So when you use a powder, do you kind of like look for a skin tone, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter? So with foundation, I go a little darker, and with the powder, I try to just do true, true to color. Okay. As, and now, these days, there are so many options. Uh, translucent, believe it or not, tends to look a little bit white on camera. I have okay. noticed. So I try to get one that has color. So what is it that um, a lot of the movie stars use and then all of a sudden when they're outside and they're taking pictures, they have these blotches of white everywhere? Like good white or bad white? No, like a bad white. Like, yeah, whoa. this is just too light of a powder, too light of a shade. Or it has the mica in it. Mica's like this old school thing that's like really reflective and it's in a lot of products. So now I'm going to do your contour and blush, mm. which I am still trying to embrace the contour. It's not that I don't love it, it's just... It's a hard thing to do. So can you do a fish face? We're going to do like totally Scarface, <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, That's I what I her. think of when I think of contour. contour. Mm -hmm. So the contour or the bronzer, whatever you use, goes right here. Okay. Kind of like a C shape, mm -hmm. but wherever the sun would naturally hit. Okay. And again, I could be doing this completely wrong. <laughs> Don't send me hate mail. This is just what I've learned with my limited time and resources. Okay. But it works. It's more than what I know. And then I read somewhere 
that you always hit it where the sun would naturally hit. So the bridge of your nose, the top of your forehead, the chin. But what if you're laying out in the sun and your whole face is exposed to the sun? Well, when you contour, it's only <laughs> like in the places that are desirable. Oh, okay. And like right here. I guess that's supposed to do. I always see people on the runway do this. I don't know what they're doing or what well, they're trying to be doing. But they're enhancing the clavicles I so you look thinner. This looks so professional. What it's supposed to be. Like, this is so profesh. Look, if you just took an Insta like yeah. that, they'd be like, oh, wow. We need to follow them. They know what they're doing. <laughs> that looks amazing. Okay. So now, can you smile for me? I need to see the apples of your cheek. This is old school. I think every five year old knows how to do this. Yes. And Can I you do it when you're angry too? Of course. That's the best, the best part. And uh, I love pink blush. I know Peach is like having hey. a moment, but I love pink. You love it makes pink. me look so youthful. I know. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fave. People are like, she looks horrible. No, it's youthful. Again, I'm so not I was sure just gonna this. say, are you going again in the same area where the other one was? No, I'm going back to the bronze, and I'm okay. just going over the top, and then with the highlight. This is just too many steps. Mom yeah. still need all these steps. It's just well, like, you do if you want to be on fleek. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one goes over the top. This is the highlighter. So this just gives that little iridescence, like you just woke up like this. Oh. I've seen a lot of girls where it's just like extremely like silvery and shiny in certain areas and you're just kind of like, it's a little too the much. The problem is I've been battling the shine for so long to actually do something that mimics that. It just goes against everything I know. So I have a hard time with that. I know. I mean, it looks beautiful in pictures, but I just feel like it's just so much. It's just hard to pull off for some women. Okay, so now I'm doing eyeshadow. So no matter what, doesn't matter if you're going to do a really vivid color, a sparkly, a smoky eye, natural, doesn't matter. You need a good base shadow. So not white, not silver, nothing with pearl, just a matte, vanilla colored or skin colored, whatever it is, mocha colored, just something that is true to the skin tone and that's completely matte because this will help all the other colors come out and come through. And do you even use it when you have like a eye primer? Yes, okay. I still use it. So every collection, every company has their version. For MAC, it's vanilla. I know that. <laughs> I, know that. <laughs> I know that one. That's the only plug I can give you. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the base on the eyes, I am going to do, because we're gonna do something really like a rose gold. Like something natural but glamorous. Exactly. So I'm gonna do the base of the lid. So for that, I always like to use uh, some bristles that are very dense because it helps to grab the color because we don't want it flying everywhere. So the Q-tip method is not really... <laughs> no. Q-tips go in the ears. Okay. <laughs> not on her face? Like no. Know? No. Eyeliner, maybe. Exactly where your Q-tip tells you not to use it. That's, <laughs> That's where, it right where it goes. Where it says it's great for makeup, I'm not sure to get that something out of the tube, maybe. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to go with this one. I love rose gold. It's like my favorite. Okay, so here I'm going to tell you something else that we do. Okay. So more so with a smoky eye to avoid all the flakes going everywhere. With time, it, it gets easy. But for now, I always like to just... Fold the tissue and hold it right here, just very lightly. Close your eyes for me. And that way, any excess just goes right on the tissue instead of on your cheeks. Mm. And it helps so much. It's a really good tip. Because back in the day when I didn't know anything, like last week, <laughs> I, I would say. have <laughs> black eyeshadow everywhere. And then when you go to take it off, it streaks it everywhere. Streaks. And it's such a pain. And this trick has helped me out so much. Where did you learn it? Um, I just devised it. Mm. You should patent it. They actually sell stick-ons that do that for you. They stick right here. But the thing that I found out is even though the adhesive was gentle, it would still take off some the makeup. makeup. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what can I use that won't do that? And this is what I came up with. Oh, you should have an opal 
Kleenex. Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> For we should patent use. that. We, we patented it. We created it here. So don't try to steal the idea. <coughs> Very unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is real life, okay? I totally forgot to put that on set. That's like video tutorial 101. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is what happens when you get free work. <laughs> You can't complain, okay? Oh no, why are We're just I? two moms doing our makeup on a Monday morning. <laughs> President's Day. I would like to say that we were getting ready to go out to like a wine tasting, but no, oh, that's not gonna it's happen. just 7 in the morning. I need the Opal Cute Kleenex. The Opal Kleenex? Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, so we're not trying to like take it off. What no, happened no. there? Did I was I laughing. Oh, <laughs> Are you allergic to the bristles? <laughs> yes. No. It's <laughs> laughter. Let me fix that up for you. It's laughter. It's good though. Not a little wind. That doesn't help. Isn't that what they used some, to do back in the days? In remember here. that? Some fans in here for you. We'll let that dry up. Let's okay. See. I've never had to deal with an emotional model before, <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord. So are we good? Mm -hmm. Just a little. Okay. Okay. All right. Where are we? Before so the phone rings. Back, back to step one. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if I stand in front of you, I'm blocking the whole shot. No. Let's see here. Okay. All right. So close your eyes if you can. All right. So now that I have the base, I'm gonna do the smoke. Now I will admit, I am not that great of an expert when it comes to the smoky eye. Okay. Bring in the next makeup artist. <laughs> it's, I'm not an eye person. Okay. I'm more of a lip person. I'm more of a lash person. But I do okay. But this you definitely need the tissue for. Okay. So I'm not going to do black because... Because you're not really good at it. <laughs> exactly. That and we're not going anywhere. Save the black for Vegas. Okay. So I'm going to do more of a brown tone today. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to control it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so just press it into the corner to start. You don't want to put too much on the brush. Big mistake. I see I have this mentality that more is better. I Which really is. have a hard time with that. But think about it. More money is better than less money. <laughs> well, it, it's so true for like so many things, but not when it comes to this. Not when it comes to makeup? Not, well, purchasing. Makeup. Oh, purchasing makeup. But oh. putting makeup on a brush, less is more. I have mm. to learn. So I just like to go with the contour of the eye. Do you have a great eye shape? Mine are so small. You see, I can't do much with my eyes because they're like the size of a beaver. No, they are not. They are. No. So it's hard for me to do all those cool smoky effects. But I just don't know how to do them. You know, like oh. production of like the eighties and stuff. We were just like just what did you put guys blue do? everywhere. Tell me about the eighties. I wanna know. <clears throat> what about I've it? only seen it in movies. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. <laughs> so it was a fun era. 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 We had Madonna and Prince and Michael Jackson. Fun. And you wore your gloves and your hair however you wanted. I mean I had the spikes for a long time, but I think that was the nineties. I mean in the eighties I was young. So what were you like in high school? Were you like a like the cool girl? girl? <laughs> okay, <laughs> only girls that weren't cool say that. <laughs> so you know. Talking about. <laughs> I was no. I was just a. You strike me as like a popular chick, but no. in your own little like in my own head world. <laughs> no, like you seem like you're very like in drama and art, and like you're just like. I was the kid that as soon as the bell rang, I was out of there. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was, you know, my my circle of friends were not really into school that much so are you doing that that face because it's bothering you or because oh. you're just making an emphasis on I'm your story <laughs> i'm very dramatic oh okay, so okay. <laughs> i was like oh my god we got a little bit in the eyes okay. no no um okay. i was i mean i i love drama but i wasn't in the drama club in fact i was in in none of the clubs i was just my own little club hey it's school time i don't really want to be here but let's do it and then bell rang and we're out of there okay Ooh, what's so, that Eyebrows. Let me tell oh. you something about eyebrows. I get so scared about eyebrows that sometimes I just don't do them at all. But 
that is like makeup error 101 because they really do frame the face. Ooh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Beep. We need to bleep that one in there. <laughs> so, um, I am not good enough to do powder. But when powder is done on the eyebrows, it looks amazing. But we're going to use this. When you say powder, are you referring to an actual like powder and you blend it in? Yes. Like for example, these are eyeshadows, but I use this one. Well, no, I don't. The makeup yeah. artist that sold me this used, used that on. shadow okay. with the bright brush. And then she blended yeah. it so naturally and so beautifully that I was like, oh my gosh, take my money. And then when I came home, I said, oh, I forgot to buy the makeup artist. Yeah. They usually um, can't come home with you. So I'm going to go super light okay. because I have chola hands. Okay. I don't do feathery. I have okay. a tendency to just... Just really rough and tough. And yeah. So my I'm eyebrows walk in the room, room before I do. Exactly. Okay. Definitely make you look like a shy girl. Okay. Which I am. <laughs> Wrong culture, but it's all good. We will, hey, you know, embrace the Latina culture. Yes, remember people, you know, 305, that's where I'm yeah, I have. I have actually a, a little qualm with him because I am a huge fan, mm -hmm. love his music, and I know that he shouts out constantly to, to everybody. everybody. Colombians and Cubans and Miami girls. Never once has he said anything about Salvadorian women. Well, Pitbull, here you go. Take a look so, at So, why is that? I Maybe just he just hasn't been there. Maybe he hasn't met one. Maybe he yeah. doesn't have any Salvadorian women friends, or I'm not sure. Well, but You should go knock on his door. So, my goal is to get famous enough to where I can knock on his door and ask him that. And just be like, hello? Someone What's going on? Outside? <laughs> this is a very professional <laughs> Phone ringing, people tapping, kids screaming. But this is real world, you see? We're keeping it real for you guys. Exactly. We don't do the bras with powder, because we can't, you know? It's like going in line with my <coughs> It does. <laughs> so every time I feather, I get a little background noise, which is fun. Oh, I thought you said you weren't feathering. Well, I am doing my best. Oh. It is somewhat. We'll have to see the end result. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's I'm, never a good thing. No. I'm gonna get down to another your level. Oh, my level weight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you calling me short? Just a little. I'm short. So the fact that I'm taller than you. You are not short. I feel like I'm short. You're five six, which makes me five four. Five so six. It's totally not. In what short. lifetime? <laughs> In my head. And then when we're done, you see, this is just so time consuming. I just blasted through the eyes mm -hmm. only to get to this. And this just slows me down. All right. Looks, it looks, it looks fine. <laughs> we're just going to leave it like that. We're just, you know, you can't really see it from far. All right. <clears throat> do you want to do lashes? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping you said no. But <laughs> of course not. We'll do lashes. So again, again, another faux pas of mine is that I put on lashes before eyeliner. Okay. So be nice okay, with the so comments. Question, are I'm you already good? admitting it's not the correct way. Are you good putting lashes? Um, well, I've been doing it for a long time. Doesn't mean I'm good necessarily, but. Are you good at putting it on other people? I've never done it. I'm just oh. trying to figure out which direction this is. It's goes. just a great day for me, isn't it? <laughs> so one little tip, when you take them right out of the package, for some reason, the way that the band is set in there is like for nobody's eyes that I've ever seen. It's like for these almond eyes because they're so straight and and it's really hard to manipulate them. So I always have to break them in, so to speak. So I always have to take them and kind of use a tweezer to break them in because otherwise, once glue's on there, you're gonna have one hell of a time trying to fix it around the contour of the eye. And if you're not sure which one it goes to, the end that flares, the longer side, always goes in the outer corner. I know that's very obvious, <clears throat> but not for everyone. I, I would have testament that to that. Okay. I'll pretend I didn't know that. Exactly. Okay. So I always like to use a tweezer, not because it's professional, because I have <laughs> really long nails. So I'm going to put the glue. This is always... I try not to breathe during this part, because one <laughs> slip. So you're just like, 
Exactly. And when you're putting you put them on, okay. I would prefer if you had limited breathing. Limited me, myself? Yes, Oh, please. great. You're asking a lot of the model. Usually models, you know. <laughs> they do whatever they want. Well, let's see. Okay, okay. so once <clears> the <throat> blue breathing. is on... Okay, that's a lot of breath. Okay, so we are going to wait. Don't put it directly on. Again, all oh. of this is trial and error. This is like the legacy that I leave my children. I see. These tips, you know, like I don't bake pies, but when it's prom season, they'll know what's up. Yes, they will. At least the girl. Exactly. <laughs> and my future daughter-in-law. Alrighty, so... Um, I always like to let the glue dry just a little bit, and you get one shot. Then if it dries, how does it stick? No, it gets a little tackier. Otherwise, when you put it on, you have to hold it for so long for it to grab. Mm. So we get one shot with this. Okay. So don't move, don't breathe, <clears throat> don't, okay. don't even think. Just close the eyes. Okay. All right. I get one shot at this. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. We should be playing intense music in the back. We can totally edit that in afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't open your eye, please. Okay. Ooh, that oh, was beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't breathe. I haven't moved and I haven't opened my so eye. So I always try to put it in the center. I always like insert it like a like an egg you're going in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then once it's in the center, then I just flare the sides out. And just once it's there, unless it's totally in the wrong spot, don't move it. Okay. I'm not sure if it's in the right spot. We will find out when she opens her <laughs> eyes, but it looks good to me. <clears throat> so what happens if you do put it on the wrong side? Can you take it off and like re-put it back on? You can't, well not the whole thing. Just try to adjust it as is. Try so you can't take the whole thing out? And you just could, oh. but the problem with that is, you're messing up the eyeshadow. You then have to okay. apply. So it's easier just don't question yourself. Just do it. Okay. Just slap just it on there. Okay. Just let me know when I can open my eyes. Okay, not yet. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. Oh, I got to wait. Okay. All right. And I always like to have lashes. I buy lashes like toilet paper. Like I have a massive amount of eyelashes because you never know. You just never know. And lately, with four kids and being married, I know a lot that I'm never going anywhere. Of course, so why do you need them? Just in case. <laughs> just in case my husband's like, hey, we're getting the car, we're going to Vegas. Wow, which will happen soon. Yes, because we're going to go to the Toy Fest. Yay! Yay! Without our children. <laughs> but we'll tell them how it went. But it's They're not gonna... the kind of toys for adults. Let's just clarify that. No, it is, it is the not. Toy Fest for kids. But we're and not taking our own kids. No, and it's just adults going. Yes. To the Toy Fest in Vegas. In Vegas. You know that they're all thinking that it's, we're talking about a different kind of toy. Exactly. Which is okay. Those are perfectly fine, too. That's what Vegas too. is for. Yeah. Those are I good really toys. want to know who is remodeling. <laughs> <laughs> so Do they not know that we're doing a video shoot? A video shoot, exactly. My goodness. All right, I'm going to go for the next one, okay? Okay. Uh, then. You have great eyes for this. We have two of them. Thank God. That's my nose. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Oh, God. No, no, no. Relaxed face. Oh, my God. It's okay. Trial and error. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of error. Not enough trial. Okay. It's all good. Beautiful. Okay. So was that your nail in my nose? It was, actually. Oh. It was just... Okay. Digging for gold. I didn't know if, you know, the lashes. Which, by the way, can we talk about powder nose on hairs? your nose? Yes. Oh. No, so hairs? why don't you get it waxed? Because <clears throat> I'm noticing some powdery residue. Are you talking to me? Yes. Why don't I get my nose waxed? Yes, your nose hairs. I've never gotten them waxed. This is like basic. Is this something new that's happening? Um, I don't know if it's new, but I'm sure I've been doing it for a long time. So you actually go to the spa and you're like, I just. I just yes, want there, my it nose is like a big wet. thing now. That must hurt a lot. You know what? It actually feels very refreshing. 
Well, if you are masochist, yes, of course it does. Well, it's they're very little pain. Mm -hmm. Very little it's pain. It's just an odd I sensation. I have flushed them before, and, and my eyes like continuously they cry. They literally just take a glob of wax, uh -huh. on, and they put it on a stick, and then they stick it up there, and then they press your nostril down. And then when it dries, they just yank the stick out. And if you look at the stick afterwards, it mm -hmm. looks like a Barbie Brazilian. <laughs> because there's all these little tiny little hairs. Wow. And they're all coarse and dark and they're so yuck. I mean, you don't need them for anything. Well, I mean, they protect you. Oh, they do. That, yes. They, it is for health. That's, that's I mean, exactly God knows what he's doing when he designs the body. I, I will admit that, but he wasn't expecting us to like contour. Wax them off. Yeah. Yeah. Just with your little crying session. Just I know. It happens. I laugh, I cry. So when was the last time you waxed your nose hairs? Um, I'm due. It's usually every like six weeks, you know. Oh, maintenance. Yes. I do lots of wacky maintenance stuff, you know. Oh, I do. I and the do. five readers who read our blog. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, my sister, yes, your mom. My best friend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ourselves for time. Yes. <laughs> Edgar, when he's fixing it. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Not so, even our husbands, huh? That's pretty no, sad. They had no idea. No. They thought it was somebody's birthday today. Yeah. <laughs> For having a party? Yay! Okay, so I'm going to line the eyes now. Why okay. You, oh, 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 not yet? It's okay. It's okay. Can I open or not yet? Oh, uh, yeah. You can <clears> open. <throat> Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> you just have a little, little something here. See, this is actually, okay, I'll admit, that's a, a good use for a Q-tip. Oh, you see? Q-tips do come in handy. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. You look great in lashes. You should Thank wear you. lashes every day. I know, and if I was in a mom, I probably would, but dropping them off at school doesn't seem like a necessary step for me to put lashes. So I have an article mm -hmm. about... I'm about to tell them, stop! We're doing a video! It's about liquid liner. Okay. And some of my tips and techniques, mm -hmm. which basically boil down to just do it. Don't just question it. Don't be cheap. Buy good stuff. For a liquid liner? Mm hmm Why? Because the staying power. Power. I mean, application-wise, anything will do. And I do have some that are, like, a little on the cheaper side mm -hmm. that I use just as backup. But when you want staying power, you definitely need something good. Is that what you're using now? No, it's the cheap. <coughs> oh, you I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're giving me the cheap liner. <laughs> I'm going to get down here again. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Do I open my legs or do I keep them closed? No, you can just keep them on. I can just keep them on. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what happened here. There we go. Hmm. You just have little flecks of... Okay, so I'm going to go on the next eye. Oh my... What are they building? A deck? I don't know. Who builds on President's Day? I know. Stay off, people. Did you not send the memo to your neighbors? I know that we're super professional. We're gonna have a photo shoot. Like, come on. On a Monday, on a, on a holiday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're not exactly matching, but that's okay. Because they're, they're sisters, not twins, all right? <laughs> of course. Does Is that what you tell that's people? Exactly. Okay. And you know, when there's so much lash, you don't this really need plays them. second fiddle. I mean, okay. honestly, it's not the main event because people are just like, wow. <laughs> and that she looks amazing. <laughs> She's not really going through divorce. I'm, I'm not. Saying. It's just we're just being funny. I love you, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's like lashes on. Just drop off your kids at school. So next we're gonna do a little lash primer. Okay. Again, mm -hmm. some people don't even put mascara on fake lashes. They say, why do it? But more is more. And I always like to go more. So, I'm just going to put the smallest amount. Do you want my eyes to stay closed or? Yeah. Okay. I hate putting mascara on other people. It is the oddest thing ever. I know. How do you grab your mascara? Albert always makes fun of me of how I hold my mascara. I don't know how I hold it, but I notice as women, our mouth always flies open when we put makeup on. I'm not sure why. Like that? Like, oh, oh. Which is not really cute though. No? 
So a little primer. I'm sure some gonna... people might like that. Some people. Not our <laughs> readers. That's for sure. Well, the five, I mean, of the course. Five. No. I'm sure my mother doesn't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need you to open for this one. This is not working. Okay. <clears throat> is it odd? The sensation? No. I have used them before. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Uh oh. I hear children <laughs> coming in the room. It's happening. Oh my gosh. Our session is over. We're just playing with makeup in here. We just need five minutes. Again? Okay, go away. Go away. Bajou. Go away. Aww. <laughs> Well, she said you look pretty, so you must, because nine-year-olds and toddlers don't know how to lie. I know. But she loves makeup, so. Okay, so this isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Eyes aren't your strong suit. Brows <laughs> are not your strong suit. Eyelashes are not your strong I mean, what is your strong suit? <laughs> Shopping. Oh. Prepping for this type of thing. Prepping. Oh, you see, I, like I, I have to buy a lot of makeup because <coughs> you never know when I'm going to have a tutorial. Of course, but that I may or may not excel in. That you don't know how to do half the stuff in it. Exactly. I love doing the bottom lash. I know it's totally retro, but it's mm -hmm. so Bridget Bardot. Don't you think? Yes, she's so beautiful. Was Speaking so beautiful. of some of your favorites, so who's your style icon? Um, Corinne Saville. She's simple. <laughs> I don't know who that is. What? She's like Insta famous. What are you talking about? No. Oh. <laughs> That's not my husband. <laughs> oh no. You see? Hurry, hurry. This used to happen on set all the time with the lights. Really? Mm -hmm. At the Jay Z Penny photo <laughs> studio with your kids for Christmas? I, I was an actress before I was a blogger. <laughs> Were you? Yes, it was a very short lived career. Well, Only about 15 you're years. You're still young. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the future holds. Of course. I'm on camera right now. Exactly. Where you were made to be. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. So now it's my favorite part the lips. <gasps> now let's see how good you really are with the lips. I am so good with lips. Okay. So. This product, <coughs> I'm going to give it a plug because I actually wrote about these products, mm -hmm. Charlotte Tilbury, Lip Chi. So for years, I always lined outside of my lip because I love big lips. It's my thing. I think I'm like biologically related to Kylie because the bigger, the better. The bigger, the better. And I've always done that, even though it's a big no-no. But now it's okay because this actually tells you to reshape and resize your lips. So you always go just a little bit out and very, very light. And I'm telling you, it is a game changer. Okay. I always feel so weird doing that. I love this brand because they're cruelty free. But this, this one is Pillow Talk. And Kim KW is also a beautiful nude. I love them both. Nude is having a moment. <laughs> nude has been having a moment. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so just open your mouth just ever so slightly, and you just lift your lips. Now I have to wait for them to dry. <laughs> my eyes, my lips, I'm a very, very difficult model, aren't I? You are. You're just doing all sorts of things to sabotage me. <laughs> Perfect. So just go like this. Yeah. Not like that. That's what you just did. <laughs> what? You just said, now go like this. That was a reflex, okay? <laughs> Where the lip line is? No, that's just a suggest suggestion. Mm -hmm. Whatever Mother Nature gave us, it's just a suggestion. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get down for this one. All right. Mm -hmm. The top a little more. I am so focused right now. Mm. It's new lips, you know? Mm -hmm. I could do mine. I'm not even kidding without a mirror. Because I just know my lip shape. 
So would you ever get filler? Mm, I don't know. Have you ever considered it? Are you saying I need it? No, no, <laughs> no, no. I need to wax my nose hair. I need to get a filler. You have a beautiful shape. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Because mm -hmm. I like my lips to enter a room before me. Yeah? Like Mine are a little, I'm still working on that one. <laughs> Mine are a little lackluster these days. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. Uh, I could use a little help. Oh my gosh. I know. So annoying. Wouldn't it be funny if it's coming from your house? You know what's hilarious is the <clears throat> fact that when the most annoying thing in your shoot isn't your kids screaming. I know. It's people building like a Whatever. Mm-hmm. What did they say in your play -Doh? I, I always feel so weird going outside of my line. Like, even when I see it in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't. Like, my lip line oh, is no. not there. If that's what it's made for. Oh. All right, now open. You know what? I'm going to do a lip brush. A lip brush? Not right? because I feel like you can do it better, but because that's what I always see in makeup tutorials. Oh, okay. Because honestly, I could do that straight one too. Oh. You're looking for the cat. Oh, the kitty cat. Oh, I love this color on you. So I was always searching for the perfect nude because mm -hmm. the perfect nude has to have a little pink in there. Okay. To be natural. And this is pillow talk is supposed to be like a yes. huge. Color. This is what we're using. And you see, it looks amazing on you. I can't. See. Can you go like this? Thank you. I love your faces. Can you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> With the hand, too. <laughs> and then when I do it, you're like, what is that? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So I would normally just leave it like there, mm -hmm. right there, exactly <clears> how it is. <throat> However, I want you to, I want to show you a little lip gloss trick that I okay. learned in junior high. In junior high. In junior high. Which was a couple so, of years ago. Just a couple. I hit the big three out actually recently, so. You I'm not supposed to say that. I hit the big 21 not too long ago. Not too long ago? Not too long ago. Okay. I mean, when I was talking about the 80s, I was talking about my mom's era. Of course. Totally not mine. Okay, so with the gloss, you always go a little bit heavy in the middle mm -hmm. before you bring it out because it gives the illusion of fuller lips. Again, I'm totally going for the fuller lips. If you want okay. to look demure, then don't do this. Okay. Just do a little vampy shade and matte and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put your lips together. All right, so turn around. Let me know what you think. <laughs> the moment of truth. Oh, my eye is a little watery down here. <laughs> well, that's not me, girlfriend. I can't control your bodily functions. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. like you. it? Yes, I love it. So totally natural, right? Like, we can work out like this. We can go to the grocery store. Totally can work out with these lashes. I do it at the gym all the time. Exactly. Thank you. I love it. I can't wait to see what you do with my hair. Okay, well, that's coming up next. What do you guys think? Don't answer that. She's a makeup artist, not me. I'm just the model. Be nice in the comments. Don't troll. I know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.